What's going on everyone, Mar here with AutoDS. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use Facebook ads to your advantage. So that way you can use it for your own product research so you can find some winning dropshipping products. And for this, what we're gonna be utilizing is a brand new feature that was just released on the AutoDS platform. And that's gonna be the Facebook Ad Spy. So up until now, we've had our TikTok ad spy and that was pretty much it. It was just TikTok ads that you could scroll through with a few different filters. So that way you can see what's trending on TikTok, what products are selling and what product videos are getting traction. But up until now, again, it's only been TikTok. Now we implemented Facebook ads as well. So now you have an entire library of Facebook ads at your fingertips to use for your own product research, but not just for your own product research, but also so that way you can learn or you can use these different ads as examples or as inspiration to come up with your own ads or your own content marketing. Now, with that being said, in order to get started, there's only one thing that we need to do, and that's going to have to be have an account with AutoDS. Now, if you don't have an account with AutoDS just yet and you've been thinking about joining or you've been on the fence about it, then you can get started right now for just one dollar for the next two weeks. Once you sign up and have everything set up and you're store connected, then you're going to have access to a huge library of ads, both in TikTok and Facebook. But this video, we're going to be focusing on just the Facebook ads. So let's go ahead and get started. So the moment you sign in, you're going to see this, which is going to be our marketplace. But what we're looking for is the ad spy function over here. So all we have to do is go ahead and click on that. And by default, it's going to be set to all. But since we're going to be looking through just the Facebook ads for this video, let's go ahead and click on the Facebook tab over here. And then you can see all of the different Facebook ads that we have available for you to check out. Now, there's going to be a lot of ads that aren't going to have good interaction. Some of them might not have any interactions. Some of them might be really bad, but that's why we also have all of these different filters to help you scroll through all of the ones that really aren't worth it. Now, this is what we have available for you. So for one, you have a search function. So let's say you saw a Facebook ad maybe a week ago and you were thinking, oh, what, what was that product? I can't remember. I can't remember the name of it, but you remembered more or less what it was. Like, let's say a cup or a mug. You can search that up through here and you'll have all of the different results for relevant products. So that way you can scroll through all of the different ads and see if you find the one that you're thinking about. Besides that, we also have the likes, linked product, CTA button, and an interaction rate and a few other things. So as far as the likes, typically I like to keep it between 100 to about a thousand. And sometimes if I'm feeling a little bit daring, I'll go over a thousand, but usually I keep it between 100 to a thousand because that's, that's kind of the sweet spot right there. Anything more than that, if you start going into the 10 thousands, then you're really going to start limiting yourself. And a lot of the times the ads or the Facebook videos that have this many likes, it's because they have a pretty big budget behind them. So I like to keep it right around the middle. Besides that, you also have the linked product. So this, in this particular case, I always click on yes, simply because a linked product is going to basically be a CTA button. So as long as there's a CTA button on the ad, more than likely it's going to be taking you to a product page. And that's why I like to have the link products turned on. But aside from that, you also have the CTA button itself. So what do you want the CTA button to say? On Facebook, there's a lot of different ones. You can do things for either booking appointments, for shopping, visiting stores, things like that. So here you have all of the different options. Now, my suggestion to you, always go with the one that's relevant. For the most part, you're going to be choosing either shop now, order now, maybe visit store, sometimes shop here, buy it now, but you're never really going to be going through either download or watch now, or even send message or learn more. Sometimes learn more, but most of the time it's going to be the top three. And then one of the last filters that you see up here, before we get into the more advanced filters, you have an interaction rate. Now interaction rates can be tricky because, because this is going to really depend and it's going to vary based on each video. Some audiences might have more of an interaction rate than others a lot of the times let's say an older generation or an older audience or an older target demographic might be interacting with a video a little bit more than the younger audience so for example the older audience could potentially be either commenting or liking a little bit more than the younger audience which would probably just go ahead and click shop now so that's something you always have to keep in mind and always play with the different interaction rates my suggestion i like to keep it over two percent but I'll never go over 10% because anything over 10% really, those are very viral videos and not always are they what we're necessarily looking for. 
So I like to keep it anywhere between two to just under 10%. And last but not least, I'm also going to show you the advanced filters before we actually use the ad spy to look for a product. So on the advanced filters, you have a few more engagement metrics. So you're going to be able to choose the number of shares. So anything under five, between five to 50 and more than 50. Typically, as far as the shares, you can go anywhere between five to 50 or even more than 50, because if there's any sort of budget behind it, a lot of the times people are going to be sharing these videos, but I tend to keep it in the middle. So about five to 50 in terms of comments. It's the same thing that I mentioned earlier. It's really going to depend on the demographic of people and the type of product that you're going for. So this can vary. But again, I like to keep it around the sweet spot in the middle between five to 50. And in terms of views, this is where it can also get a little bit tricky, which is why I keep telling you just play with the different filters and see what works best for you and for the types of products that you're trying to drop ship. But in terms of views, I always like to keep it at either more than 20,000 or just not have it selected. So it'll be pretty much anything that's over zero, I guess you could say. But a lot of the times when you have a certain interaction rate and a certain amount of likes, that's kind of also going to go hand in hand with, you know, more views than general or more views than a video that's just not getting any activity or any engagement. Now, something that's specific to Facebook ads is the reaction types. So people are going to be liking it. They're going to be loving it. They're going to be laughing at it. They're going to be thinking, whoa, or it's going to make them sad, angry or have them care. Now this really, it's something that you can also play around with, but this can kind of help you choose what products you want to look for. Now these can also be used to look for certain types of products. Like let's say April Fool's is coming up and you're looking for a gag gift. Then what you can do is you can look for the reaction type, ha ha. <laughs> which means there's going to be a lot of people that are being entertained or laughing at a particular ad, which sometimes can go hand in hand with you know something funny, something like a gag gift, something along those lines. This is something that you do kind of have to use strategically, but if it's not something that you're looking for in particular, like let's say you're not looking for products that can make people laugh, then I would just leave this blank to be honest with you. Or if anything, just leave it at like or love. Now, if you're drop shipping in a different country, that's also something that we can help you out with through the Facebook ads filters. So let's say you're in the UK or you're in a different country and you're trying to drop ship in the US. So you're not going to be looking for ads that are outside of the US because those products might not be relevant in the United States market. So in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the countries and you're going to select United States. So you're going to see ads that are only running in the US, not ads that are only running, let's say in China or in the UK or in Europe or anywhere else. Same thing goes for languages. Most of the times ads that are in the US are going to be running in either English or Spanish. So in this case, you can go ahead and narrow it down even further or simply just leave the languages blank. You also have the age function so you can see what age range these ads are targeting. This is something that's also going to be very helpful in terms of what you're trying to sell. And same with the gender. Are you looking for ads that are targeted towards women or towards men? Are you going to be selling a product that's targeted towards women or towards men? And last but not least, the last filter that I want to show you is the creation date. So when was this ad created? When was it uploaded? My suggestion for this is you can really keep this however it is that you want, but I like to keep it within the last 30 days. So any ads that have been released in the last month. Now, that's not to say that ads that were released two, three, six months ago are irrelevant. Not true at all. A lot of the times ads that have been running for this long, it means that there's a reason why they're still running because they're still relevant and people are still interacting with them. So if that's what you want to do, if you want to look for ads that have been running, let's say for the past six months, then you can also do the custom range and set the dates yourself. And last but not least, the last filter that I am going to show you is going to be the media type. So is it a video ad, an image ad or a carousel? Now, for those of you that don't know what a carousel is, it's pretty much whenever you bring up Facebook or Instagram, it's when you scroll through the different images and videos. So sometimes you're going to have an ad where you're going to scroll through and you're going to have different pictures as well as videos. That's a carousel, something that you can literally just go round and round in. Now, enough talking. Let's see this ad spy in action, shall we? So let's look for a dropshipping product and let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find using these different filters. So I'm going to keep the likes between, like I said, 100 to about 1000, which means there is a budget behind it, but it might not be a massive budget. I'm going to leave the linked product as off. So I'm going to put this as no. The CTA button, I'm going to keep that blank as well. And our interaction rate, I'm going to put that at over 2%. So let's go ahead and search. And these are all of the different products and the different ads that come up for us. Now, right now, 
obviously one thing that's extremely hot is the elections. So you're going to see quite a few of these. Like, look at these Trump shoes over here. That's hilarious. As you can see, you have the CTA over here. So shop now. We can go ahead and click on that and check out the ad itself. And here you can see the views. Under here, you can see the amount of likes. And you have also the shares and the comments. For the most part, these interactions are going to be a lot lower than the views themselves. But don't be scared if you see that because, again, this is this is normal. Besides that, you have all of the different engagements. So you have the different likes, loves, the laughs and everything else that we mentioned earlier. How many comments, how many shares, how many views and the interaction rate. The interaction rate in this is very good. It's at 5.88%. Now let's check out the ad itself to see what's so special about these Trump shoes. So first you have Kick It in style with our exclusive Trump 2024 fan shoes. So here you can see you have the entire description. And then you can actually watch the ad itself. You can watch the ad directly through the page over here, or you can click on shop now and it'll take you directly to the website selling the product. Now I was going to show you how you can source a product like this, how you can backtrack it to check out the supplier, but they actually have their right clicks turned off, which is a pretty interesting feature. It's not something that I've seen before, but typically you can right click and be able to do search image with Google, but they disabled it on this website. But don't worry because I'm going to show you that in another ad really fast. But looking back at the ad details, we can also see to see the original post. So if we click on here, we'll see the original Facebook ad on Facebook. So it will be this one right here. Besides that, you can also see more ads from the advertiser. So if you click on this, you're going to see all of the different ads that this advertiser GOP gear is running. Then looking at the ad timeline, you can see when the ad was created, when the actual ad started running as an ad and the last time that it was seen by anybody. So the last time that it actually ran in front of the eyes of a new customer or of a potential customer. And you can see that that was July 1st, which is actually today. Now exiting out of that and scrolling through some of the other ones, let's see what else we can find. An ice pup Frenchie. This is pretty interesting. So here we have a summer cooling mat for dogs. This is actually really good. This is a really good product for the summer and for the rest of the year, really. And you can see here that the views, they went up, 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 and they had a dip, but then they went right back up. So they could have probably stopped advertising for a bit and then they put the budget back on. Could be a number of factors, but let's go ahead and click on order now because I want to see the actual product. And then when you click on order now, you're going to go to the website, in this case, Frenchie shop. Let's go ahead and check out the product itself, which is a cooling mat, this one right here. And how can we backtrack this? How can we see where this person is sourcing their products from? Well, simple, just right click, search image with Google, and then choose the image itself. So right there. And then here on the side, we're going to have this little tab that opened up with all of the different matches for this particular product. So you can see they have some at Walmart. They have a few on Amazon. They have this one right here, the cat pad with gel. This might be actually the one that we're looking for. As you can see, the rest of these could most likely be just regular towels or mats for the floor. So always make sure that you pay attention to that. So here you can see that it's a cat pad. This is the one with the gel. So after a bit of digging, I was able to find it on AliExpress. And the way I did that was simply by taking all of the information that I saw in here and just going to AliExpress and searching up a rainbow dog cooling mat. And this is what came up. Now, the price isn't necessarily at what we'd want it to be, but we're going to have to keep looking around at some of the different products and some of the different options that we have available to us to find the right supplier for us in this case. But just as a quick example, this is how you can backtrack different products. Now, I didn't necessarily find it over here on the side directly on AliExpress, but I did find the search terms that I could use. But a lot of the times you are going to actually find the product on this little sidebar with AliExpress as a supplier. Now, one last thing I want to show you on this page is the audience information. So going back to our ad spy, we can see that we have the audience information for the ideal target demographic. So on here, you can see the location. Where is it selling the most? In this case, it's actually selling the most in Italy. Portugal and Greece, which is pretty interesting. Besides that, we can see that primarily the people that are purchasing this are women and the age range is between the ages of 35 and about 54. That's going to be the majority of people that are purchasing it. And that was our Facebook ad spy. What do you think of this new feature? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Remember, if you want access to the Facebook ad spy, all you have to do is simply sign up to AutoDS and become a member. And if you sign up right now, you can go ahead and get started for just $1 for the next two weeks. That way you can grind it out for the two weeks, start making a bit of money and sign up for the entire subscription along with Shopify. Trust me, when you start implementing automation, you're really going to realize how much more efficient your entire dropshipping store can be. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all next time.